I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Hey y'all, so we're here and we went to Reedy Creek Meat Company um, and got our ribeye steaks for our Valentine's special. And so we were given hats. Yes, we were. So, so we decided to put our hats on and tip tip our hat to them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we got bacon there. We got a bunch of other meat there too. And I'm telling you that bacon is to die for. All of their meats are from farm to table. They do all their egg right there in the facility. It is very delicious guys. And you can't get fresher than this. So we are going to do something that Gordon Ramsay had done. And we had done this before with fillets. We are taking our ribeyes and we are going to salt and pepper the heck out of these. So we're just going to put a bunch of salt and pepper on it. The more the merrier, just pour it on. We're going to do both sides. And um, because what will happen is it will, you will lose a lot of this flavor um, while, your skillet, while you're cooking. So we have a very hot 15 inch pan in Cast there that's iron. screaming so we want to get this in there so we have some steps that we're going to show you along the way but we wanted to also go ahead and crush up our our um, garlic. garlic on screen here because there's not enough room around Elsie's stove to do that so we're going to do three of these on screen for you and the rest of them we're going to do off screen so you just be as liberal as you want to be with this just as much as you want it's not going to hurt it trust me because it'll cook off and these are so big they had a special it was 749 a pound yes and it was a special last week so guess one what? day only special one day thing. only because these are normally 17 to 21 dollars a pound and we got six steaks for $31. Six. I got a pound of fresh cut bacon for five bucks. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Mom got a bunch of chicken. She got hamburger meat and everything. All right, so we're gonna crush the garlic as well. So quickly, we're gonna do four things of garlic and four pats of butter. We're gonna put a couple um, sprigs of uh, thyme into our mixture. We are going to take this to the stove top real quick, pan sear these, flip them on the other side, and we're gonna scoop that butter on top and just marry all those flavors in there, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven, and we're gonna leave it in there, what, about 10 to 15 minutes? Yeah. Depending on how you like your steak cooked. Yeah, if you like it, if you like it cooked about um, medium, rare or rare you're going to do a lot less actually you'll probably cook it on the stove top but if you want it medium well or well done you need to put it in the oven so you get an even cooking on that so time's a ticking we need to get to the stove because that's a screaming hot pan so i'm going to go ahead and put these steaks on top of here and we will show you our next step at the stove top. all right y'all we are at the stove now i'm putting my olive oil in this is a hot 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 pan Woo! Ooh, it's screeching hot. All right. Get ready for this. You lay it away from you guys so you don't get burnt. for about three minutes and then I'm going to flip them over and at that point I'm going to start with my butter, my garlic, and my thyme. And then we'll spoon the, the butter over the top of the steak for another three minutes on the other side and then we'll put it in the oven. So these are almost ready to flip. I'm going to go ahead and add in about four tablespoons of butter. 
two, two tablespoons in each cup. And then my smashed garlic. put my thyme in. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.